One if I can get you. Oh, I can't get you. I'm sorry, man. I should probably respect when this comes down like that. Oh no, I messed up the movement there. That would have been a juicy regrab. I didn't die. Oh, nice. He really likes a single down tilt jab. Seems like his preferred chill pressure of choice. Oh no. But I'll be there. What's up, Kappa? One more Discord? Yeah, there's character Discord for every character. I think my uh, my good controller that I'm getting mid should be here either by next weekend or per likely before SmashCon, which is what I'm most excited for. So I'll be running my first like major with like a juiced up, hypothetically working perfectly controller with not only snapback but wired stuff. I'm about to get crazy with it. <laughs> what if I just get loco on him? Going, oh, what's up, right? Let's let that C stick go to f***ing town. How do you prepare for a metal fight session? Mm. Uh, the best thing I would recommend is just know what you want to work on or have an idea of what it does. Think of any questions you might want to ask, right? Because the thing about meta fights is they're a limited time, right? Like you're paying for a set amount of time or games or whatever. So trying to make the most out of that can help a lot. And going into the idea of what you can improve on or what your you feel like your weaknesses are and stuff like that uh, can go a long way. Like I've had students that are the opposite of that, right? They just go in and they go, hey man, I'm still gonna improve, I've been struggling, yada yada. And I always like to ask questions be like, oh, what are you what are you trying to improve on or what are you struggling with personally? Um, we build off that, but if not, you know, I can always like play them and be like, okay, well, there's at least these things that I'm noticing. It's funny you say that, Floyd, because with Olimar, it's like, you can have an autopilot like that, but then it just loses to like a low caliber enough player that is so mashy that you actually have to like focus up. It's really counterproductive. For the way his attacks work, but I know what you're talking about. Alright, I'm gonna ask him to change stage. How do I find people to play with? I'm asking in a Discord that I'm in. I mean, you gotta think about it this way, right? I agree with you. There is a definite skill discrepancy in the highest tier of this Discord. But. A lot of the top players just literally don't grind. So they fill it in with other people that meet their requirements, whether it be PR or wins or whatever. Which, you know, there are different people in here where I'm like, I feel like it's not always the most worthwhile to play you. Um, but I'm just happy to be able to play people that are competent enough. But unfortunately, not everyone is always the best practice. Partly because they just also don't know jack shit about Olimar. 
you can tell they're kind of they, they're good in uh, more of a vacuum it feels like where they maybe are like PR or whatever it's very traditional and, but you know I'll tell you what you can do it there are a lot more you're gonna get a lot more um, not quote unquote top players because uh, top players don't play enough and that's on them I don't know, that, when I see Tweak in here grinding all the time, I kind of find that hard to believe. Or people like the Buzzle being here grinding, like, it's not, that's not how it is. People don't play Wi-Fi and don't like it or whatever, you know? Oh, yeah, well, no, every top player is playing the game all fun, in some capacity. No, unfortunately, GSP is not the, uh, the deciding factor. I'm so mad that I went put up like that. I swear I lose more stocks to doing that against Prom than I do to actual Prom shit. Started with. I do chocolate donuts. I, honest to God, feel like I'm not that focused against this guy, and that's still not a problem. I don't want to be mean to this person, because I'm sure they're very nice, but they give it off mad, like, generic Roy Crown vibes. Okay, I'm giving this guy too much credit, I guess. Gotta slow down. Two hits, baby. Oh, yeah, no. Try to move. Is Olmar good yet? Uh, Olmar's always good. What are you talking about? Hardest top player for me to fight against? Mentality and character knowledge. I'm not gonna say Leo, because I don't. I, th I think he's gotten my number a lot, but it's not. I don't know. Um. Mm, the buttons feel like a cop out for the last time we fought. Like, last time he kind of got me at the end there to beat his ass. So I don't. It doesn't feel the most genuine saying that. Like, he feels very, very beatable now. Um, Leo, Leo, unfortunately, is the, the person that just really knows what the f*** he's doing, and it feels like so hard to hit him with a lot of things. Um... Yeah, yeah, that's why it feels weird, but I've, I've literally lost to Leo, like, nine times or some shit. Like, it's been, like, constant since the start of opening it. And, like, I've taken games or whatever, but it's just, like... Always slips away. 
Like, if the, there's not another top player that feels like out of there. I guess maybe light recently, but we haven't. We only played like one time, right? Zamba maybe, but it's like it's just it feels like Rob. <laughs> like I don't feel like I'm getting gamed that hard by him, but more so the fact that his character is just ridiculous and it's just doing him like so much of the matchup, you know? Maybe maybe tweak honestly. Like he's someone that I have to be. I feel like I have to be really on point to, to fight. Like when I am, it's doable. But he can exploit the f out of me if I'm not like ready for it. Oh, nice. 